we have a game where you move with your hands and we got to make that feel good so i've i've been working on that quite a bit i made the front end for the shop and the wardrobe and like a lot of the ui that you interact with in the game right now is stuff that i made i've worked a lot on the control mechanics um, but i've also done a variety of other things like i made the shaders for the game i implemented the sounds for our sound guy lance really don't want to just you know make uh, a different version of a game that already exists. We want to be our own game. There's kind of a little bit of bushwhacking that goes on there. You're, you're trailblazing and you know in territory that hasn't been explored before. But you also got to learn from what other people did and what works well and what doesn't. You know, something that isn't always obvious about the nature of online games is that it's not like one thing that everybody is seeing remotely. Everybody's kind of recreating the same events separately, and it's kind of a game of trying to make sure it's matching up for everybody as much as possible. There are things like who has permission to make the vine move, right? We, we try to see like when a player is going to grab a vine ahead of time so that that can go over the network and sometimes you grab the vine before you have permission to move it so the game can't let you move it until later after you've already grabbed it so it doesn't move at all. George said one time that it was the real multiverse of madness and I thought that was pretty accurate.